right. Do you realise how much wildlife this bloody bench is going to display? I have told you, Mr Carmichael, that we have done an environmental impact study and it's... Oh, really? When was fine. that? Fine. Fine. Air your grievances with the police, Mr Carmichael. You're an imperialistic vampire, I win a window. You're nothing but an old redneck who'd have us all living in the dark ages if you could. All right, Harry, you and your friends are on private property. I'd advise you to leave. No, I'm exerting my democratic right to protest. You're trespassing on our land. But that doesn't give you the right to ruin it for the rest of us who live in the area. The point is... The point is, Harry, you and your mates... Right, the point out. is that you and your blood-sucking wife are too bloody greedy to compromise. Widgery doesn't need a bloody big concrete resort. We are building a wilderness resort. Wilderness? Yes. What? Ruin our land and sell it as a bloody lie? How Harry. dare you call me a liar? Harry. All right, start them up. Don't you. Bring them on. Bloody dead. Start them up. Oh. What? You don't think you're going to get away with this? You he bloody solitaire of parasites. Oh, right. You were on a land, Harry. Yeah, acquired corruptly. Oh, so you want to go for slander as well as a sorrow. Oh, oh. keep it. Harry, what are you doing here? Oh, I'm staying up to my rights, Tom. Your rights? What about mine? Well, what's the We've problem? already acquired the building permit for the Lake Widgery Wilderness Resort. Oh, what? that's what you're going to call it, is it? He assaulted uh -oh. me. I want yeah, to be charged. I hardly touched her, Tom. All right, take Mr Carmichael into the interview room. I'll talk to him when he's settled down. Harry, you know the one. Yeah, I sure do. Thank you, Mrs Wyndham. We'll take it from here. Yeah, this Continental. This the first time, Sergeant. There have been other I sabotage said, attempts I said the Continental. Project, and I think Harry Carmichael is responsible. Yeah, OK, well, thanks very much. better step in the mouth. Oh, boy. Uh, that was about breakfast. I was talking about uh, no, breakfast. It's not my business. You can do the continental thing with whoever you want. Well, I could order it cooked if you prefer. What? Breakfast? Well, I thought we could go away for a couple of days, you know. Well, we're mates, right? Yeah, of course we are. All right, what's wrong with a couple of days away for a bit of fun and adventure? Well, PJ, I'd love to, but I've promised Stella Downer from the hospital that I'll, uh, I'll go to this murder mystery weekend thing at the Imperial. I'm playing a honeymooning wife. <laughs> oh, yeah? <laughs> Who's playing the hubby? Oh, you volunteering? Nah. Doyle, I cannot believe you'd rather do that than spend a, a weekend of fun and frivolity with me. Because, PJ, it's for charity. And besides, I think it's going to be a bit of adventure. Uh, Harry Carmichael and the Wyndhams, they're both going to be there. Yeah, well, it's nice I better be there. Keep an eye on things. Oh, good. It's just going to be 250 bucks. 250 it's bucks? It's for a charity, PJ, so you can go to the bank and get me the cash at lunchtime or just write me a cheque. I'm telling you, mate, if they develop it, they're going to ruin the wetlands. Unfortunately, Mr Carmichael, what the Wyndhams do with their land is their business. It's been passed by the council. Yeah, but they lied their way through it. It's a much bigger development than the original proposal. It's their property, Harry. They can do with it what they will, I'm afraid. What about the long-toed stint? Sorry? The long-toed stint. It's a beautiful little marsh bird. It migrates to Widgery from the Northern Hemisphere every year. And those bastards are going to ruin its habitat by dumping landfill. And to add insult to injury, having finally bought my own little piece of paradise to retire onto, what do I face? A bloody great concrete jungle next door. That's an oxymoron. Wilderness resort. <laughs> That's an oxymoron too. Well, what are you? The grammar police? All Harry Carmichael and his cronies want is to keep the place to themselves for their own private fishing run. I mean, it's not as if we haven't been through the whole environmental bit. Right, Stephen? Absolutely. This development will have no effect on the lake whatsoever. All right, perhaps, but uh, obviously some people don't agree with you and they have a perfect right to say so. Who's stopping them? They can say what they like. As long as it's not on our land and doesn't involve destruction of our property. I want them charged and I want protection. Don't you think a warning might be more appropriate at this stage, Mrs Wyndham? I mean, you don't want to create a whole lot of unnecessary bad feeling, do you? I think Tom's right, Ro. You would, wouldn't you? Boss, excuse me. Uh, there's a problem over at the pub, PJ and I are heading over there now. Yeah, right. Look, I just don't need this, you know. I've got this murder mystery weekend thing to organise and run off my feet. Now some clown breaks into the cellar and starts digging up holes in the floor. Right, so we've got half a bottle of whiskey. Anything else taken? Well, not as far as I can tell. Look, I've got a million things to do. Well, Chris, you go up. We'll look after you. Yeah. Right. Thanks. Thanks for that. So it shouldn't be hard. Just look for a large, inebriated wombat, eh? Oh, hi, Stella. How are you? Hi. Oh, Chris tells me you two will be joining us for the murder weekend. Excellent. I'd like you to meet Michael. He'll be uh, running it. Michael Scott. Welcome Hi. aboard. Constables Maggie Dawn, Dash McKinley, Hi. Detective Hashem, or oh, PJ. How are you? Ah, the local law. <laughs> oh, a couple of experts here, Michael. Game might be over before it gets started. I can see that. I can't afford to rest on my laurels, can I? <laughs> now, you've both received your murder books? Oh, I've got mine. PJ's a late applicant. 
Oh, that's right. Chris said we've now got a husband for your character. The Honeymooners. Here. All you need to know about your character, our story plot, get you all clued up. Help you to find something suitable for your costume. Uh, costume. Uh, Mags, you didn't mention anything about a costume. Oh, didn't I? I forgot. Oh, yes. Full-on fantasy. It's not compulsory. Adds a nice touch, though, doesn't it? <laughs> Look, um, while you're sorting out your acting careers, I'm going to drop this off to Adam. Good to meet you, Michael. Yes, you too. Have fun. Gaylord Gain. <laughs> Michael, you kidding me? Oh, food. For the mind. Great. Well, it's better than cold pizza. Oh, cold pizza. I thought you would have liked it. No, it's great, thank you. So how are you? Apart from being bored out of my brain, oh, I just wish I was up and about, that's all. Yeah, well, it's going to take some time. Yeah, I know. Hey, Dash. Yes? Yeah, that cold pizza you were talking about. Here he is, the hey, man of the to die. Eh? Whatever that tossed you out of that bed, mate. Oh, What's never even can help it. He's being oh, waited on hand. You've got, you got everything. you got jigsaws, oh, you got teddy bears, you got us. Yeah, yeah, see you. Going? How are you, all right? Yeah, I'm all right. Not too bad. Hey, PJ, there's no usable prints on the whiskey bottle. Gay Lord Game. No way. No way known. You can't back out now. Yeah, well, watch me. And, and a stupid southern accent. Nah. Oh, look what it says here. Gay Lord is a dashing, handsome riverboat gambler. Yeah? What, what does it say? Dashing and handsome? You know, I think that you look kind of cute in a jeweled waistcoat and a cigar. Mm -hmm. huh. Oh, come on, you said you wanted to get away for the weekend. Here's your chance. Yes, but I did not have the Imperial in mind. And why do we have to stay there the whole weekend? Well, because the game, it, it goes until Sunday. Hang on. It says we have to stay in character. What are, what are they? Oh, look, um, don't worry about that. Just... There's honeymooners. Mm. <laughs> Gambler is wearing these days. Yes, well, I'll play the game, but I'll draw the line at drag. That's thanks. not what I heard. Uh, Where is he? What's he doing here? Oh, the same as us, more likely. Please don't make a fuss, Ray. Oh, don't worry. If I'd known I was going to spend the weekend with you two, I wouldn't be here either. Perhaps we'd better get started before there's a real murder on our hands. Yes, if I could have everybody's attention for a minute, please. <laughs> now, you all know the roles you're playing. Stella, Lady Loaded. Thank you. Stephen, Danny Dice. Rowena, Lena Legover. Mm. Harry, Hugh Roller. Thank you. Miss Chisholm and Miss Starling, the Cavendish twins. And last but not least, Maggie and PJ, Gabrielle and Gaylord Game. A very affectionate honeymoon couple. Right? That's right. Mm. Good. Now, as far as possible, you're to follow the instructions in your murder book and remember to stay in character at all times. Our game's set here at the casino at Monte Carlo. You are all fascinating characters of intrigue and diversity. You've come here to the Riviera from all parts of the world to win your fortunes. But how do we know if we're murdered or not? Who's getting murdered? That's what we're here for. To witness a murder, then catch the culprit. One of you is the murderer and one the victim. Only they themselves know. That's why you have your own murder books. And don't forget, they're confidential. For your eyes only. I do not want to win. When the does head. the murder happen? Only the victim knows that. And remember, please, keep referring back to your books as our plot develops. So, uh, what, the game's over once the murder happens, right? No, no. That's when the investigation begins, oh. with the victim becoming the detective. Oh. All right? Yeah. Everyone ready? <laughs> so, <laughs> mesdames, messieurs, let the game commence. Rien ne va plus. Do you always play for such high stakes, Mr. Roper? I'll speculate to accumulate, ma'am. <laughs> A bit like these land grabbers who take everything they can from poor decent folk and deprive them of their God-given right to healthy recreation. Vincent Rouge. 
Oh, Gaylord, honey. Silly me. I seem to have lost all my money. You lend me some of yours. I'm joking, I believe. <clears throat> Monsieur, in character, please. I'm sorry, Han Lam, but I seem to lend most of my money. All I, all I got left is. Uh, yeah, that'll do uh, just fine. Thank you, honey. I know what your little game is, sweetheart. I'm sure I don't know what you're talking about. Place your bets, please, mesdames, monsieur. What is that all about? Hmm? Uh, uh, sorry, honey, Charlie. Jelly, what uh, part of this lady have you ever few time here? Nothing, nothing at all. Oh. I'm sorry, I'm just totally booked out with this murder mystery weekend thing. Oh, that's a shame. I was really hoping to get a weekend away, you know. Recharge the battery, so to speak, and I really like the look of this place. I like it even more now. <laughs> Are you sure you haven't got anything? I'm not a fussy man. Anything will do. Well... I'll take it. Anything. <laughs> I don't normally book it out. It used to be the maid's room. Uh, but she's not included. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a bit cramped, though. Bathroom's at the end of the hall. Sounds perfect, as long as it's got a bed. Oh, what I mean. I'm a bit whacked. Here's the key. Go up the top of the stairs, turn right, it's down the end of the corridor on your left. I've been sending me little love notes. Any number of blokes old, I reckon. <laughs> See you later. Then. Okay, Christy, what does a bloke have to do to get a drink oh, around? I reckon he'd have to be a big city bloke with a good chat up line. Well, that'd put you two out of the running then, wouldn't it? Oh, thank you very much. Two beers? Oh, she's a mind reader as well. What a woman. You better make that three. One of the swinging detective here. Gaylord, mate. Shouldn't that be two words? Gaylord. Have you got any more napkins for the horse yeah, do this? Yeah, I'll put them down here somewhere. There you go. Beautiful. Thank you. What are you doing out here anyway? Yes, Gay, old mate. Shouldn't you be in there playing Pops and Robin? Hilarious. I'll get these. Oh, no, no. All your grog's prepaid. If you want a drink, you've got to pay with this stuff. No, Miss Gabriel in there is cleaning out. That's Toy Town, man. That's only for ten beer. Look, I'll pay a real drink for him. A pink lemonade. No, no, I get a no, double. I'll have a beer. Ah, yes. there you are, Gaylord. A dinner is served. Yes, right Oh. And remember, in the character. <laughs> Off you go, didn't he? Does he look you that way? Can't say he does, why? I think you've just seen his face on the brochures. He plays his game all over the state. Come on, Gay. Back in there, duty calls. Remember, in Z. <laughs> my heart, my heart. Lately loaded. Oh. What's the matter? Oh. You're having a heart attack. Oh, the book, the book. Oh, 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 oh. Right, Lance Sykes is a total mystery to me. Stay calm, madam. We will call the doctor. Oh, no, 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 Bill. Oh, hand back there. Oh. oh, here they are. And oh, what's this? What is it? No. Nothing, nothing at all. My pills. Yes, sir. Coming, Lady Loaded. <laughs> Thank you, my dear. You have saved my life. Praise the Lord. It's another miracle. I've been attacked. Good God, Rowena. That looks realistic. No, you bloody fool. Someone really attacked me in the cellar. It's not as bad as it looks, Rowena. Well, there's no one down there. You right? There's no evidence of anything? No, not that we could see, Rowena. What were you doing in the cellar? Following instructions. I found this note in my handbag. What does it say? No, you got the money. Leave it under the barrel, bottom of the steps and cellar, or things could get unpleasant. Let me see that. And this has nothing to do with the game. Nothing at all. Well, I didn't know that. I just went down in all good faith to put my play money where it said... And somebody was waiting for me and pushed me down the stairs. Any idea who? Well, it's obvious, isn't it? Just take a look around. Who isn't here? This is crazy. I mean, OK, I might have had my differences with the Wyndham woman, but I'm no mugger. Anyway, it sounds to me like she was scared rather than attacked. I don't know, tripped and fell over her feet or something. Well, you're probably right, Harry. She's pretty upset. I'm just trying to sort things out. What, with me as prime suspect? Well, I wouldn't say that. Oh, <laughs> wouldn't you? Anyway, look, aren't you two supposed to be off duty? Oh, unfortunately, Mr Carmichael, we're always on duty. I've run my printing firm in this town for over 25 years. I'm a member of Rotary, for God's sake. I don't go around lying and wait for women in cellars. Even Rowena bloody Wyndham. Yeah, all right, but it's true to say that you'd like to get her off the Widgery project, eh? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's no secret. Look, you know, when I first came here, Mount Thomas was a gem. It was. It was a beautiful little country town. 
And gradually, it's all been whittled away by people like the Wyndhams. You're going to need a sample of your handwriting. I didn't write the note. OK, look, of course I want to stop. But there are better ways of doing it than pushing her down the cellar stairs. Now, if you wouldn't mind, the sample, thanks. No. I'll get this off to document the examination, see if they can tell us something. It's not Harry's, I can tell you that right now. Could be disguised. You don't really think it was him, do you? Well, whoever did it was pretty clever to slip it into Rowena's handbag without noticing. Perhaps she did it herself. Well, fake it, but why? To put the blame on young Harold. It's a bit of a roundabout way of doing it. Besides, she didn't even know Carmichael was going to be here until tonight. All right, probably right. It's probably someone just trying to scare her. The thing I don't understand is all this business about leaving the money. I mean, what money? Or blackmail? Could be. Quite frankly, ladies, I think we should call the game off. You should. No! no. You can't do you that, Pete. No. Rowena doesn't seem to mind, does exactly. she? Exactly. And we can't let the children's wing at the it's hospital. It's a charity. Oh, number 17, this is me. Yeah, it's number 17. Uh, it's, uh, it's not the honeymoon suite, no? No, it's no. not the honeymoon suite. <laughs> Thanks. Yep. Are you sure you're going to be safe in there? Well, why wouldn't I be? What are you talking about all those weird murder mystery people running around? Oh, are you offering to protect me? Yeah, I am. I thought that we agreed that I didn't need protecting. You agreed. You agreed I didn't. I can look after myself. Bathroom's free now. Oh, lovely. Good Thank night. Thank you, Vi. Good Thanks, night. Vi. Well, I slept well. You too. I will. What are you doing down here? Oh, sick of advice, you know. Couldn't sleep either, huh? No, couldn't sleep. Strange bed, lots of noise. <sighs> Bit lonely. Don't start. Can I ask you a question? Well, it's late, so you can ask me just one. Are you... Are you 100% sure the decision you made? Only fools are 100% sure of anything. Cheers. Does that mean you change your mind? It means that, um... I'm not sure. Oh, this is crazy. I know. Now, you, hang on, you, you know how I feel about you. That's well, a good thing I do, because I'd be waiting forever for you to tell me again. But do you want me to tell you again? No, I don't, because it'll just like, make things more difficult. Difficult? Mm. Difficult is trying yeah. to get my hands on Oh, well, you. tell me about it. Oh. I thought that we could go back to the way we were, but damn it, I was wrong. It just doesn't work like that, does it? Ah. Well, who knows? Maybe we could uh, recreate the passion that we had in the mine shaft. <laughs> What was that? Timing. <clears throat> Did you call an ambulance? I'm the victim, you idiot. <laughs> <laughs> That'll teach you to read your book. <laughs> Good morning, murder mystery guests. Good morning. Yeah. Thank you. Good morning. Sleep well? No, did you? What do you reckon? Let me get out of here. Go somewhere a bit more private. Just get away from hey, Jane, we can't. We've got a murderer to catch. That's why. And besides, it's too late. Madame, Monsieur, an announcement, please. With the sad demise of our fellow guest last night, Lena Legova, it is time for our little game to enter a new phase. 
So may I introduce a new participant to whom I hope you will give your fullest cooperation. Inspector Anna Artcase of Interpol. Oh! I might I pay good money for this. Children's yeah. wing. Morning, everyone. Morning. Good morning. Enjoy your breakfast. Mm. It may well be the last meal you do. Now I'm here to find out who did the dirty on Lena. Uh, look, just before you go on your game, folks, we've got some real police work to deal with. Look, your bulldozer's been totally burnt out, I'm afraid, and they've pushed over the port loos and had a go at filling in the trenches that have been dug. Damn, this is going to mean more delays. Hello, Patrice. Bit of a problem I to sort I sometimes wonder whether it's all worthwhile. What? I mean, if the project's so unpopular, perhaps we should cut our losses. What? Take the money and run? Well... Patrice, the police have just informed us. No, just hold on a minute. Look, no bunch of greenies is going to stop me. I'm going to fight this until the end. You wouldn't have somebody in mind, would you? You know damn well I would. And he's sitting in there right now eating his cornflakes. I mean, I may be only playing detective, but I know who the villain of this piece is, all right? Well, Rowena, would it be convenient to cancel the game for no, you? No, 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 no. This won't take a minute to fix. What's going on? Now, did you know you had a wonky rail here? Yeah, I did. I was going to get it fixed. Well, no need to now. Fix it up myself. I'll borrow some of Lenny's tools. That's very kind of you, but you don't have to do that. You're a guest here. I wouldn't have been if you hadn't have found me a room. Just returning the favour. Better give this back to Len. Lenny! Nice bloke, eh? Mmm, very nice. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, nothing. Nothing at all. Did you see what Danny Dice just did, Gaylord? Well, even Blind Freddy would have seen that. In character, please. Sure did. So, now you must threaten to expose him. But you, Monsieur Dice, have plans for a bigger, full-scale defrauding of the casino. You cannot afford to be caught out on such a minor matter. So, what do you do? Well, the murder book says I bribe him. Then do it. I see, buddy. Uh, why don't you take this money here and... Uh... Keep quiet. What do you say? No, no, I don't think so. Take the money. You look familiar to you. Take the money. That's it. Good. Now, back to the table. Lady Loaded, I have something to show you. <gasps> Where did you get that? I have always had it ever since I was a little girl at the orphanage. It was the only thing my mother left me when she abandoned me all those years ago. <gasps> oh, my lord! A gold earring, one of a pair. And now I know where the other one is. And I think you do too, don't you, Lady Loaded? <gasps> my child! Mother! Oh, baby! <laughs> Maggie, Maggie, Maggie. Hey, Jake, can you do no, it in the character? Forget about the character. Forget about the character. I need you to come with me. I'm sorry, Stella. Uh, excuse me, uh, lady. It's loaded. Loaded. We're trying to have some fun, but probably it's for charity. Um. Well? Well, what? Don't you recognise him, our mystery weekend host? Hey, Michael Scott. Well, it is him. He's lost about five kilos and a lot of hair. Peter Anderson, should I know him? No, boss, he's, he's out of my past. Are you a regular gaming squad past? There's a look you get. Obviously doesn't remember me. Make some copies, huh? Yeah. Any luck? Uh, it could be. There was no bloke yabbing out in the area. At the time of the fire, he saw a car cruising around. Do you identify? Not the Rego, but he thought it was a white Mercedes. What's this? Is the game over? I suspect it's only just started. Are you sure he is this Anderson guy? Certainly. When he forced Gaylord to take the bribe in the game this afternoon, the alarm bells went off. So what did he actually do? He robbed me of my chance to be a senior sergeant of homicide right now. That's what he did. Well, how did he do that? He was a bagman, Mags. He was working for the, for the racing heavies. He was paying off the corrupt cops. He was the one who delivered the cash. Was that when you met him? No, not in person. No, when it all hit the fan, internal investigation showed me a photo of him, but I... I couldn't tell him much. I thought I was covering up. But you weren't? No. No, I, I wasn't corrupt. I was just stupid. Like, you know what it's like? I mean, you got your mates. You want to blow the whistle? And... Well, do you think he actually recognises you? Oh, I've got no reason.
Grace, I never met him. So what, he... he... He promised to do a deal. He promised to do a deal and give him the names of all the corrupt cops. But your name but wouldn't have been on Exactly, and he lied and he shot through and he hasn't been seen since and I get a posting, the whoop-whoop. A oh, whoop-whoop hasn't been that bad, has it? The point is, this bloke will finally clear my name. If it's him. It's him. Don't you ever slow down. Not in this job, not if you want to keep the customers happy. Oh, I'm a customer. So? So how about keeping me happy? Meaning what? Meaning I've booked dinner for two at the copper pot tonight. No, don't say anything now. Have a think about it. We'll talk later. Oh, yeah. Go for it. Go for what? I don't know what you're uh, talking Chris, about. Chris, what, what, excuse me, well, what do you know about Michael Scott? Uh, meaning? What, do you know where he comes from? Well, he comes from WA originally, I think. Why? It's just routine. Don't you ever stop working? Yeah, anything else? Oh, well, I've got a bike or something somewhere. Just a minute, I'll check. Oh, listen, I, I reckon we should cancel the rest of this weekend. No. I say you murdered Lena because she was a good businesswoman whom you didn't want to see prosper. Because she showed up your inadequacies as a man and a lover. That isn't in the murder book. And she's trying to get at me. You started. Like it. hell Please. I did. Please remember, this is just a game. Yeah, well, it depends how you play it. And I think I've just about had enough. Me too. Please, spoil it for everyone. Anyway, I uh, think that's the end of this session, folks. We'll take a break for an hour and a half, OK? <laughs> Would you like a lift to the hospital? Yes, mm. thank you. Uh, PJ. Listen, Nick just rang. It looks like you were wrong. The date of birth was confirmed through crime liaison with WA, Queensland driver's licence and credit cards. Uh, as Michael Scott? Mm -hmm. Oh, and the note that uh, Rowena found in a bag? Document examination confirmed that the writing isn't disguised and it doesn't match Harry Carmichael's. Hi. Mm, just uh, getting a little bit of help. Oh, struggling with those blue bits, were you? Yeah, no, Lenore, the little kid in there, she's excellent. Poor kid's got cystic fibrosis, huh? Oh. Hey, what's that? Just a little something from the pub. Oh, ah, some goulash and rice and a little oh, bit of apple pie and You are cream. a legend, thank you. Is there a microwave here? Yeah, down in the nurse's station. Yeah. Hey, um, that's, that's Michael. Oh, yeah, Lenore's parents. My wife's doing it really hard. She'd be lost without him. He comes in every day. He's excellent. Really? Mm. Why? What's up? Oh, he's running the mystery weekend at the pub. PJ and Maggie have asked Nick to do a check on him. Hi. Hi. Um, look, I've been thinking about it. And? And, well, you're... Look, you're a very attractive man. Oh, and... look, no compliments, please. It always means a big brush off. Oh, no, no, <laughs> it's not a brush off. I, I just need to explain. Do you want to explain about it inside? No, no, no it's all right. It's just, you see... I was very much in love with this with this guy and he was well he was Irish and he was murdered and um, murdered yeah Gee, that's too bad well it was only a couple of months ago and I I was very much in love with him and yeah of course look I'm sorry for hassling you well, no that's all right Oh, I nearly forgot. I need some towels in my room. Perhaps you could oh, swing sure. by. I'll get them straight away. Oh, there you go. Yeah. So why don't you tell me all about it? Well, actually, I've got to get back to work now. You're not going anywhere, sweetheart. Not until I get what I came for. Not so fast, sweetheart. I think it's about time you put out. Look, why don't we go to the copper pot, eh? You know, like, I think you're right. Let's just go I'm and have something. suddenly not very hungry. Not for the copper pot anyway. Where is it? Where's what? Don't you miss me. Look, I honestly don't know what you're talking about. The stash. Your bloke's stash. My Where bloke? is it? Not the dead Irishman. Terry? Yeah, the ex hubby. The kid's name's Lenore Reese. Mother's name is Patricia, and Michael Scott visits her every day. Listen, Dash, do me a favour. Will you find out if Peter Anderson had a wife and a child? Yeah, and if so, what happened to them? Well, like changing their names. 
Okay, yep, great. Took you. The inspector's about to wrap up the mystery if you'd care to join us. Sure. Obviously, Danny Dice had it in for Lena because she knew he was a car champ, so he could have done it. But then so could Lady Loaded. Why? Why what? Well, why would Lady Loaded have done that? What's a motive? Yeah, what's a motive? Perhaps she thought that he was a nasty piece of vindictive work and uh, that everybody would be well rid of him. I thought we were talking about Lena. I know who I was talking about. Please, let's stick to the game. Well, it's not much use with the detectives, no good. <clears throat> All right, you take over then. See if you can do any better. I got my role. Thank you, ma'am. Yes, a smug, self-satisfied... this is getting us nowhere. Just carry on, Inspector. Forget it. I resign. Oh, we can't continue the game if we don't have a detective. I'm a detective. I'll do it. That's good of you, PJ. Thank you. Right, now I reckon closer attention should be paid to the uh, suspect's weaknesses. and That would be drinking, compulsive gambling, hmm? even something as ordinary as a sick child. He wouldn't lie to me. Terry doesn't lie to me. We are mates. We had a good scam going on the horses that went wrong. Yeah, well, that sounds like him. Went wrong how? Bit of bad luck, that's all. Ended up on heaps of cash to the syndicate who threatened to break our legs if it didn't come good. How much? Eighty thousand. Eighty thousand dollars? And Terry told them it was buried here in the cellar. No, Terry didn't tell them. Terry told me. So you were the one that wrote the note? Yeah. And her old chick turned up, didn't she? Yeah, well, I'm, I'm terribly sorry about that. That was all a terrible mix-up. No more terrible mistakes, OK? And that w it was you who dug the holes in the cellar floor? Yeah, when Tessa said the dough was. Said by the time I drank half a bottle of scotch, I was a wee bit past caring. Oh, I'm too sorry, precise. Larry, but you're definitely on the wrong track. Well, that's what you say. Well, if Terry said the money was here, then how come he didn't get it here himself? I think that's pretty obvious. He wouldn't have got past the front door with you here, would he? Well, no, no, he, he doesn't have your charm, does he? But um, he was definitely lying. There is no $80,000 here in my cellar. Oh, look, Larry, let's just be reasonable. There's a pub full of people out there. All I have to do is scream at him. Now, you better tell me where that cash is, and you better tell me soon, because I would hate anything to happen to that beautiful face of yours. I really would. Now... A superficial observation of Gabrielle would make you think that she's a flighty airhead, just happy to squander her husband's wealth. Very well played, wouldn't you say? Yeah. Thank you. Looking a little bit deeper, I think you'll see that she's a cunning opportunist out for her own advantage. Oh, really? Mm. In fact, she's the murderer. Who's yeah. the murderer? It's her, the blonde. Oh. How? Why? Yeah. Well, you see, because Lena is actually the daughter of Lady Loaded, not Gabrielle. You see, Lena and Gabrielle were both prostitutes. Who's a prostitute? Constable Doyle, why don't you tell the story? Well, what happened? Lena told Gabrielle about her very rich mother, but made the mistake of showing her the gold earring. So when Gabrielle found the matching gold earring in Lady Loaded's handbag, she went to the casino kitchen, stole a knife, killed Lena and took her earring claiming to be the long-lost daughter of Lady Loder. Which means she would inherit the Loder's wealth. Oh. Brilliant. <laughs> what, is he right? <laughs> yes, he is. So what, that's the end of the game, right? We can all finish our turn, go home? It just remains for me to thank you all for your participation and for being such good sports. Oh, thank, you. thank you. And contributing to the children's wing. Oh, yeah. absolutely, yeah. yes. I still don't know how you worked it out, PJ. Simple deduction, Stella. <laughs> Rowena Wyndham? Yes, Patrice. Oh, oh, that's terrific news. Yes, thanks for that. Ciao. Good news, Stephen. Patrice has spoken to the contractors. They've organised a new bulldozer. Insurance will cover. Work starts tomorrow as planned. Uh, Row, uh, excuse me, Rowena. Yes. Where did what come from? The napkin. Where did you get it from? I don't know. I must have popped it in my handbag for some reason yesterday. Was it before you got the note? Well, yes, yes, it would have been. It was why we were having the canopies at the beginning of the night. Ro, I really need yeah. to speak. It's one of the napkins you got from Chris. Uh, yeah, we'd run out in the kitchen. Well, what is it? Well, that note we're in his bag. I think it was meant for Chris. I am running out of patience, and do you know what? Do you know what? Go on, let's go. Come on, let's go. You're a rich bitch, you must have some money. Hey, Chrissy? Hey. Who's your friend? 
This is Larry. Hello, Larry. Hey, no time for introductions, mate. We've just got to go to the office and pick up a few things and we're ducking out for dinner, eh? Yeah, I just don't think we've got to go now, you know? Oh, uh, right, right. Uh, uh, Chris, Len said he wanted to see you. Oh, in, in that case, I, I no, better go. No, you know, I don't think you'll look, look at it, let me take a second. Okay, mate. Okay, mate. He's got a knife, Pete! Back so off, Larry. Larry. I'm a police officer now. What can I do to resolve this situation? Well, you can back off. Okay, well, why don't you just put the knife down? Yep, well, he was right. Who? PJ. According to crime liaison, Patricia Rees and the daughter changed their surname. What, from Anderson? Yeah. Now, Thomas Police. Yes, Maggie. What? J just stay put. Uh, okay, Larry. Now, now we can, we can sort this out, mate. Forget it. Now back off. How how can we help you? He wants have... money, Pete. Money money is no problem. We can get you money. Terry told him there was money in the cell. Terry, mate, you're crazy. You don't want to believe Terry. Yeah, I've already worked that one out for myself. Thanks. Back off. But if it's no go in the cell, I'm going to get money. Put it in my pocket, quick. Back off. Oh. 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 I got to jail. Oh well, nearly got away with it. All right, it's monopoly money you got there. Yeah. Leaving, Mr. Wyndham. That's right. It wouldn't be your Mercedes by any chance, would it? Uh, yes, it would. Why? Can you tell me where you were last night at the time the bulldozer on your site was being vandalised? Well, I was right here at the hotel. Perhaps you can explain to me why the Mercedes was seen heading towards the site just before the fire. <sighs> bit ironic, really. Me as Danny Dice. If I'd been a card sharp, I wouldn't be in the mess I'm in now. Gambling debts. That's why I started dipping into company funds. Did uh, Mrs Wyndham know anything about this? Not until today. I think she had her suspicions. But she would have reckoned I was too much of a wimp for anything like that. I thought if I could stall the development long enough, it'd uh, help me delay paying the builder. Give me some time to repay the money. Well, how are you going to do that, Mr Wyndham? Oh, I was going to win it back. I hope he'll be charged. Well, a good lawyer will argue that it was his own property he burned and he took his own money. His and mine, as my lawyer will make clear. He's not getting away with this. Oh. Finished with him? Just about. Good. Tough lady. Yeah, fairly understandable given the circumstances, though. Now, listen, did uh, Dash tell you about Patricia Rees or Anderson? Yeah. So, what now? So now I'll go and speak to him. Well, that's if he hasn't taken off again. No, I think I know where he'll be. You want some help? No, I'll be okay. One of the gaming squad, eh? Just my luck. No, I was with them. I wasn't, I wasn't one of them. One of the good guys. Yeah, and I got dumped in it. And you shot through. What can I say? I've got my own problems. <laughs> Poetic justice, eh? I come here to be with Lenore. And you're here, waiting. Should have got out when you started making cracks about sick kids. Why didn't you? I guess I'm tired of running. Maybe I thought I could bluff my way through. Always been my problem, overconfidence. Just, just one thing. What? Can you look the other way for ten minutes? PJ. Sorry, I thought I'd better come down here. You've been gone so long I was getting worried. 
Where's um, Anderson? I'll make a full statement totally exonerating you. That's the least I can do. Well, it meant a lot to me. If anyone would believe it. Ready? Yeah. Right, Mr. Scott, this way, please. Well, I said, I'd like to organise bail for Mr. Scott. You what? Thank you. I'd appreciate that. So would Pat and Lenore. PJ, is this wise? I wouldn't let you down. No. No, I don't think you would. Listen, Chris, I've, um, I'm feeling a bit responsible. Why? Because I egged you on. Oh, well, don't think I wasn't tempted. Mm, I know exactly what you mean. I think we need another large whiskey. Now, that is the best offer I've had all day. Cheers. <laughs> Who tempted you? I'll get the drinks. Congratulations. Ta. And I should never have doubted you back there at the hospital. I should never have doubted that you would ever let a suspect go. Well, who knows? I mean, you, you spend your whole life walking around with all this anger and resentment, and you, you finally, you finally meet the man face to face, and it just goes. It, it's just not important anymore. No, it's, it's like a lot of things. You, a lot of things that you, you'd always expected or, or hoped for. Tell me about it. <laughs> 